Hi, this is Dr. Raj Banerjee, and in this video, we're going to talk about the connection between prolactin and your thyroid. So, this pattern, we're going to talk about a chemical that's produced in the brain in the pituitary called prolactin. Now, prolactin is responsible for lactation or production of milk and there's a tight loop that occurs between prolactin and some other chemicals in the brain. Some neurotransmitters and thyroid hormone and progesterone. So if there's a shift or change in prolactin, it can affect several things including how your thyroid functions. So what you need to pay attention to is what, you know, what's going on, things like you know, your blood work. You need to also look at, look at your blood work and see if there's any um, you know, depression in certain markers like lower TSH level or, or it can also be a functional range like maybe it's not really that low but functionally you know the normal the actual healthy range is 1.8 to 3.0 so if it's below 1.8 but still within the normal range that there's a low TSH and you can also see suppression of T4 when both of these are down it may be a pattern that you're that you're looking at which is pattern number uh, four. So when you have changes or elevation in prolactin, it's going to suppress another hormone called luteinizing hormone, or LH for short. When this is suppressed, you'll see changes in the shifts of estrogen for females, testosterone for males. So you'll see these changes, and you'll see how the person's body has different expressions because of these changes. For example, in men, uh, they could have impotence. Um, for females, they'll have menstrual issues, menstru you know, different shifts in the menstrual cycle, and you could see maybe headaches and things like that. It can affect, also affect your eye because you know, that area in the brain is, is really close to where your eyes are. So if you look at a slice of a brain, you'll see the pituitary gland in your eyes. Your eyes really sit right in front of the pituitary gland, and it's like right in the center is that nerve pathway right to your eyes. If there are changes in the size of the gland, it can affect how you see things and actually you, you might lose like peripheral vision and things like that. So in some situations for this pattern, you may want to get an MRI of your brain and actually look to see if there's any enlargement in the pituitary gland. And it doesn't always show up. It's something that you may want to look and something that is considered. It really is the pituitary prolactin that there's some shifts and changes that can lead to other symptoms that you need to be aware of. Okay, so you have to be aware of those things and really understand what may affect these, these processes, right, and your thyroid function. So I hope this was helpful. And again, we're going to continue doing these videos. So stay tuned for the next video. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my, to my YouTube channel. You're going to get tons of really good information. Uh, also, visit my website, getleantoday.com, and come into my free live webinar. It's, uh, it's, it's free for everybody, and it has a ton of awesome information. So stay tuned. This is Dr. Raj Banerjee. See you in the next video. Please make sure you like my video, and also subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make these kind of videos for you. Your support is appreciated. Leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of other videos you'd like to see so I can make them for you. Thank you so much, and please visit my site, getleantoday.com.